There are several packages in R that we can use to fit a regression model using the random forest algorithm. Some of the most popular implementations of random forest in R include the random forest, ranger, and arborist packages. Here there is just a short list of some packages that provide random forest in R, but there may be more packages available on CRAN or on GitHub. The random forest algorithm may take longer to train than other simpler techniques, so Several developers have created fast implementations of random forest in R, including the Ranger, Arborist, random forest SRC, H2O, and parallel forest packages. Let's see an example of how to fit a regression model using the random forest technique. So we can work with this dataset called Auto that contains information about millage for several car models. We are going to use mpg mass per gallon as the dependent variable and then we will use several uh, continuous and categorical variables as predictors. So we are going to start by converting the cylinders and origin variables from numeric data type to factor data, data type because they are categorical variables. And we are going to remove the name column from the data set. Let's partition the data into training and test set. So uh, we well we can use this set.seed function to set the random number generator seed for reproducibility purposes. We can create use the create data partition function to select randomly 70% uh, of the data to create the training partition, and then with this vector we can create the partition by selecting those row numbers, and then we can create the test partition, so the test partition will end up with about 30% of the data. If we want to work with the random forest package, we could do it well, directly with that package and then use the random forest function from that package and then fit the regression models. But if we want to, let's say, run some resampling method for evaluating model performance appropriately and finding the best values for the hyperparameters, then it will be more efficient if we work with the train function from the carrot package. In this function, we first enter a formula with the first the dependent variable, in this case mpg, and then we enter the list of predictors. In this case, we are going to work with all the variables in the dataset, so we use a period. Then we enter the data argument with the name of the data set that we will use for training. In this case, this object training. And then we set the method to be RF. If we want to know the names that Caret uses for a given algorithm, then we can go to the website of the Caret package. And in chapter 6, available models, we can use the search box to filter for the methods that uh, provide random forest algorithm. So in this case, well, these are the methods in Carrot. So for the random forest package, the method name is RF. There is also a parallelized implementation of this random forest package, and the name of the method is par RF. So for now, let's start with this method RF we can set the importance to true to ask R to evaluate variable importance. And let's say that we want to do tenfold cross-validation, so we can uh, edit this TR control argument, and then we can use the train control function. So we set the method uh, to CB for cross-validation and the number 10 for tenfolds. So we can use the system.time function to measure the time that R takes for running this piece of code. In this case, it took about 13 seconds. For running a parallelized implementation, then we have to register the parallel backend, so we can use the do parallel package and register the, the parallel backend and with the number of cores for the parallelization and then we would change the method to par rf and let's see how much time it takes to run now with this parallelized implementation in this case it took about eight and a half seconds and um, well you would note that if you run it second time 
then the time is reduced. So, okay, well, in this case, taking four seconds and a half, if we take a look at the result, then we are going to see that this is a parallelized implementation of random forest. We are running tenfold cross validation, and well, the train function is evaluating three values for the m tribe hyperparameter of random forest. So this m tribe or m hyperparameter refers to the number of predictors that are selected randomly in each node for searching for the best split. In this case, the best model was found when m tribe was equal to 11. Also note that, well, now that we have uh, well, registered the uh, parallel back end, we can uh, run the RF method. And then, well, now it takes only 4.8 seconds because, well, we are registering the the parallel backend and then well this is running in parallel so um, okay so we can evaluate the variable importance with the bar imp function from caret so the input will be the name of the model this will show the variables order from most important to least important in this case gr and displacement are the two most important variables we can also evaluate variable importance with the importance function from the carried package. In that case, we will have to select the final model object from the RF underscore feed output. So this will show the percentage in the increment um, of the mean square error when we remove one variable, for example, for GR, that will be the highest value. So GR is the most important variable followed by displacement. We can evaluate the model performance on the test set, so we can calculate the root mean square error, and in this case, the, the value is 2.95. Now let's take a look at the Ranger package, so we can run it also through caret. In this case, we would set the method to Ranger. When we go to the to the website of caret, then we can search for Ranger and then the name of the method is ranger and you're going to note that here there are more hyperparameters that can be tuned including the entry hyperparameter the split rule and the minimum node size we can also set the importance uh, in this case we enter the values that well this is this is an argument in in the ranger package so we set importance to impurity so if we go to the documentation of the ranger package and then look for the ranger function we're going to see the description of each of the arguments in the ranger function so for example for importance then this is the variable importance mode and then if we set this to impurity then R will use the variance of the responses in the regression setting and for the hyperparameters, for example, for a split rule, then for regression, this could be either variance, extra trees, max hat, or beta. So for now, we can run this algorithm like this. We can set the random number generator seed again, and then we'll measure the times that R takes for running this code. So this is 3.75. In this case, this is also benefiting from the registration of the uh, parallel backend. So this is running faster than if we had not done that step before. So in this case, the Ranger fit model is well, providing this output. So again, the train function is evaluating on only three values for the entry hyperparameter, two, six, and 11. It is testing two values, so for the split rule, variance or extra trees, and then for the minimum node size, it is not uh, uh, testing uh, several values, it's just keeping it costa constant at a value of 5. For this model, again, the best value for the entry hyperparameter was 11, for split rule was extra trees, and for the minimum node size was 5. We can evaluate the variable importance. In this case, it is showing that 
cylinders for gear and displacement were the most important variables. And if we evaluate the model performance on the test set, we are going to find that the root mean square error was 2.92. Uh, for the random forest implementation, the root mean square error was 2.95. So, well, we can see that both the time for training with the ranger package in this case and the root mean square error result was better with the ranger package.